Welcome to this serene and peaceful episode of Emergency Intercom. We've uh, run into the forest into deep, the deep away. Look at those people on the boat. I know. We're in um, the Twilight Forest. Yeah. I hope a, a big, strong, hunky werewolf man doesn't come and take me away and do things to me. Yeah, I hope a vampire doesn't come and like, finger me on my period big. and suck all the blood out of my um, oh, fuck. my cervix. Yeah, I hope a big, hairy werewolf guy. They should have installed a vacuum in the mouth of okay uh, vampires instead of just those teeth because those teeth make small punctures. But if they had vacuums in their throats and they got down there on their period... They would feast, well, I don't like know. a Chinese buffet. I don't know if I, vampires just aren't real, so we don't even have to worry about that, really. What? Yeah, vampires are not real. What are you talking about? Yes, they are. It's like mermaids and like, um, oh, like those horse people. Like you know what I'm talking about? Girl, no, those are all made up. Did you think you were watching a documentary when you saw fucking Twilight? Because that's not those were not those that was not real. Then how did they make it look like that? Computer generated graphics. Oh my god! What does I, that mean? I, I no, computers are for like YouTube and like Twitter and TikTok. Like they're not for like movies. Movies are for like the silver screen. I actually can't with you. This is t- this is actually scaring the shit out of me. Um, that I have gotten involved with and been with you for so long. With somebody who chooses to put on my rose colored lens and look at the world so beautifully. Yeah, I'm sure that would hurt you. I'm well, sure that's that just would... not reality. Reality, <laughs> people die. Babe, that's the reality of it. Every, people die. Everybody's parents when Why the 2008 recession hit. <laughs> that's not the reality of it. Oh, you, you can't just candy? go to Target and get what you want. You want candy? Too fucking bad. You want that two dollar thing? Too bad. We can't. Do you afford want to pay candy, bill. or do you want the lights to be on tonight? <laughs> the candy. I'm sorry. Yeah, like what? Honestly, give me the option. When I it's chose dark out, I'll just go to sleep. Exactly. The sun is up. The candy the must be hot. The sun is out and I'm feeling okay. okay. I hope you have a really good day. The thing is with being out, like... Oh, bitch, we haven't even addressed my fucking hair. Oh, they yeah. haven't seen it yet. Yeah. You look beautiful. Drew's looking gorgeous. Yeah, I cut my hair. I bleached the tips. The only reason I did it was because I saw, like, 20 TikToks being like, oh, Drew and his sexy hair. This is when Drew was hot and, like, saying all this shit and... Made me feel like I wasn't hot anymore, and I decided it's time to get hot again, and that's what I did. I got hot again, and look at me. Look You're at my curls. You're stuck in the loop of trying to please people. Look at my curls. No, I don't care because it, it like works. We, it looks like we switched hairs, except I put clipping bangs in my head. Yeah, like but you didn't just, have bleached hair. We switched wigs. Yeah. Yeah. He gave me his wig, and I gave him my old wig from, like, 2013 before I bleached it. What is it called? Chernobyl? Like, the real hair? Chernobyl? Yeah, like, the inches, like, people get real hair. No, there's a different name. Chernobyl is, like, a historical event that happened or oh, something. Oh, yeah, Chernobyl. No, what is it <laughs> called? Like, Nicki Minaj has a bar no, about I, it. Yeah, not a belliage for some reason. I, I was going to say. I know what you're talking about. Uh, it's, like, Belmont, like, hair or something. It's, like... Su- Balmain. Balmain. No, Balmain Bandit. Balmain is... No, bitch. <laughs> Balmain is a brand. No, I know what you're talking about Hold because... On, I got to look this shit up. It's, like, the highest end of, like, hair extensions, ETC. But I don't know what it's called. You saying the true noble hair? Bitch, what watch, is true it's noble? Is true something noble simple. something bad that happened? Um, Chernobyl is the shit that exploded, the nuclear power plant that blew up um, with the elephant foot uh, thing. Okay, that gave me like actually. Girl, no, no it's the it's literally the nuclear reactor that melted down and. What does the alien foot have to do with that? A- elephant foot oh. is what they call the super reactive radioactive. Wait, that fucking song, Radioactive. Girl, why can't I find this you shit? You said it like it was a good song. You, like, you just said that like you were like Bellamy? reminiscing on a good... Teal hair extensions. Girl, this shit is all real... Re- no, I typed in teal. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. For me, I'm a person who really loves to spiral out of control. I love, for some reason, to think of the worst possible 
thing that can happen and fixate on it and borderline manifest it until it becomes true. And instead of trying to find a solution to the problem, I really just let it marinate. It can be hard though to turn your brain to stay in problem solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist from BetterHelp can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier for you to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. I've recently been dabbling in BetterHelp and it's just been a really, really fantastic experience. I feel like I'm finally kind of getting a grip on all these silly little thoughts that I'm having. I think I touch on it in this episode a little bit, but it has been very helpful. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours after filling out a brief survey, and you can switch therapists at any time. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash intercom. Oh, Bellamy, yeah. There's another word for it, though. Bro, you don't know what you're talking about. No, there is literally another word for it. I swear there is. We've talked about it before. I just can't think of it right now. Because unlike you, when I'm in nature, I don't have this, like... Instagram. incessant need to look up hair extensions <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry I get, it's, I a, to, it's a hobby of mine i can't i can't fix it i love well, hair no, you come to nature to separate yourself from the need to have long beautiful hair actually being in nature makes me feel like i need long beautiful hair because yeah. in a different world um i feel like i'm in like 1852 and i didn't have hair extensions and i also didn't have the right to vote i need to film on my phone to show them what we're, we're looking, looking at, at yeah because it's the most actually maybe the most gorgeous thing i've ever because everybody's gonna be like oh my god this is like boo 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 you're not yelling you're not screaming you're not being rowdy how could i be rowdy when nature is healing nature is perishing nature is not Girl, healing. i know the floods <laughs> the droughts all the water is being displaced and put into new places the water never leaves the earth it's always going to be there but it's just going to be in different places. We're going to have Pangea 2.0. Girl, that may actually be the most ignorant thing I've ever said. You saying the water will always be on Earth. It's just being displaced. <laughs> well, like, the, no, what's energy awesome can't is be you created saying nor that destroyed. Is, and me, like, just not questioning it. Uh, energy is never, it cannot be created nor destroyed. Everything is in a constant state of yin and yang. Everything is awesome. Guys, Everything when bad things are happening, cool I think we just have to sit back and say, Everything apocalyptic is awesome. flooding, <laughs> apocalyptic flooding and droughts and death recession and famine and day. recessions. Everyone's having a really hard time. I don't time. care. I do, and that's, that's I, a, this is this is a crazy ass hot take, and I mean this with my full chest. Like when I come out to places like these where it's just nature and a river flowing, and it's really gorgeous, and you listen for a moment. You hear nothing and you hear crickets and you hear locusts. Everything feels a little bit at peace. And I'm like, okay, like, it is okay. Like, the, it will be okay. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, 100%. it's, it's going to be all right. Maybe humans won't be here in 100 years, but everything is going to be okay. The thing is, what's annoying is I'm like, damn, the only, the the main issue of all that is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying. Did you hear the fish jump? Yeah. Um, I got distracted by everything around me. No, but what I was going to say is like the crazy thing <laughs> we is can't when have I come. A set. We, can, we can never have a set because I am being able to look at this and focus on everything but. A camera on your face. When we come out here, I have this like hard time because I'm just like, wow, this is like true peaceful. Like this is what humans are meant to do is just like get food, come home, eat the food be in nature live like we're just made to live but like now there's like careers and jobs and like you need to pay bills and pay to be alive and pay for this and do that and then oh my god and then there's fighting and then there's like moral like groundings that you disagree with and like all this like crazy shit and i'm like oh my god this is like never what humans were meant to do but then i really think about it and i'm like here i am talking into a microphone living like a simple sleigh life 
Um, and then I'm like, yeah, we do need TikTok and we do need iPhones destroying the earth because like then what would I be doing? Uh, if I didn't have this shit, I would be out here. Like unironically, I would be somewhere like this off the grid. And th that is my plan. In four to five years, I pray that I'm in a position where to I can disappear, disappear run yeah. away, and never have to see anybody I don't want to see or say anything I don't want to say or do anything I don't want to do. And that's my dream. I, like, I wasn't joking. I almost started crying when I saw those old people at the farmer's market playing their little fucking fiddles and violins and making music with each other. Like, I yearn and fiend for that life so badly, a simple life where, like, I wake up, I shower, I go to the farmer's market, I walk around, I display my fruits that I yielded the night before and i just like move on like that i yearn for that so badly i like i wish every night i could sit out here and watch this like that is the life that i want so so bad you know what's crazy though is a lot of those people like because they are so old they had to do the like 20 to 60 year old like heavy lifting hustle and like figuring it out so that they can have like that peacefulness where like their main thing is trying to figure out like what song they're gonna play on the fucking fiddle at the farmer's market um i don't know when i think about my future i have a hard time because i want that but i also like enjoy being very social so i would have to have a mix of both what's also really sad is to think about the fact that so many people can't have that but maybe it is like way more achievable than like it's thought out to be i think like we're a part of the generation that has this really I mean, it's like the celebrity generation. We grew up like wanting to, or at least me, like I grew up wanting to be an entertainer, which I guess, I, I don't know when I think about my childhood and what I wanted, I don't know that I ever thought about like celebrityism within that. I just wanted to be able to do entertainment because I guess like I never meant to show my face as much as I do on the internet. Like when I was a child, like the best part about being a radio host was like not showing my face. Like mm -hmm. I was like, it's just my voice and I could be funny and then like live my life. And like play music. Yeah, it's um, way more achievable than people think, and like that people can see. It's just gotten so convoluted because of shit like that, where it's like you have to do this, this, and this, and this, and this to get there. But I yeah. think like um, it's literally what they want you to think is that it is hard to live a peaceful life off the grid. <laughs> like I, it, it sounds insane, and I sound like a crazy privileged white person. Yeah, I'm sure coming um, from us, it sounds it, like crazy. It, it does sound insane, but like, and I can recognize that, but I do believe that it's like not as hard as people think it is to like um, just chill. I, I don't mean it's not as hard to, like, make the money so you can chill. That's fucking impossible. Yeah. I just mean, like, there are ways to do it that we I don't even see. I haven't even seen. Um, I think also because, like, we're, like, poisoned with this idea to, like, make something of ourselves. Like, that's, like, that's what I was getting on with, like, this, like, and I'm sure, I know, like, we're not the first generation to be, like, poisoned with the idea of like making your mark and being last, important honestly. yeah because like now it's just like with the internet it felt so easy to like garner that kind of attention to like make your mark i did this i made that like i was the first to blah 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 blah, blah. which also is like not necessarily true like i don't know it, it's just so funny like we were we are this generation that like be, especially because of its accessibility have this like need to fuel the like really toxic idea i th i used to have at least as a teenager where my biggest fear was like dying and nobody knowing who i was and like this like permanent mark of me not being left behind like that used to like really freak me out and make me existential but now um my greatest dream is to be able to pass away and like <laughs> and everybody forget no, about me. It, no my greatest dream is to be able to pass away period, period. <laughs> no but to pass away and like, only, no. like the people i love being able to like describe me and like obviously i know that we have like a platform and i'm sure like this sounds like big headed but i don't think it's that big headed because like there's plenty of people who, that is amazing sorry we're watching people roll by on a boat um i'm sure there are people who like have consumed our content and will like remember us as this like as these figures in their life forever but like now my big stream is like but like that won't carry on it's like we're not i'm not 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I think like we all had this like crazy idea that we had to be something. And the internet definitely fuels that where like you feel like you have to be this bigger than life person. Or maybe that's just me. I think I used to also project that onto people in my life. I don't know if that's like the average thought. I I could be completely wrong and you could be 100% right. But I feel like, uh, I don't know. It's just such like a weird conversation because like there are definitely people watching this that want don't, to yeah. be famous and then there are people watching this that like don't, don't or I, I, that. not even famous but you know like whatever you're saying like like feel like oh I, I need to be remembered forever i don't have that anymore though to clarify that was something like back in like high school and like middle school that would like freak me out also like i hope my fucking coochie is not out because i keep wearing shorts we had the crop in the last episode because inya's whole ass and cooter bronson was hanging out so we like cropped it and zoomed it in really far which i think it probably fucked up the hat bit a little bit it cropped out the hat (laughs) um which like whatever as long as you're not exposing yourself um but yeah i'm wearing shorts and i have to be turned to the side because i'm scared of y'all seeing my wiener bulge um and now that i brought attention y'all are going to be looking for it but trust with all that being said, though, I think, like, a good segue is, like, someone like Serena Williams, who will go down historically for the rest of, as long as humans are existing, like, yeah. Serena Williams will always be this, like, prominent figure. But I'm I've... confused because people keep being like, oh, like, her last serve, her last serve. Like, I think she will always serve. Like, why do people keep saying, like, oh, she just had her last oh, serve? Like, no, no. you can serve until, like... You're like ninety something. Like she's young. Like she's no. not like she didn't just have her last serve. No, like, they I don't... didn't. They didn't mean like like oh bitch serve. Like they meant like her tennis serve. Like in her professional. Career. She can serve tennis like aesthetic, like like tennis core. No, like you mean like no. <laughs> no, like like hitting the ball across the net for the first time. But she didn't do it for the first time. Or last time. <laughs> hmm. Um, Y'all are confusing me. No, I, I've never like <laughs> really. I, I've I've always I known who Serena. That was your yeah. joke. That was my. I that told was the Drew one thing before you wanted we started to talk filming. About. I was like, dude, because we've been out in the woods. Like I've just had this like clear blank mind and i haven't thought of anything funny to say. Like I don't know if I'm gonna have anything funny to say. Yeah, y'all all thought the second to last episode. Two episodes ago was the worst ever episode we ever created, which I see that shit. Don't fucking say that to me because I will end this shit now. I, you will never see my face again if you are ungrateful again. Damn. How am I supposed to fucking turn it on every fucking time for you guys? How do you expect me to be putting out a banger episode every fucking week? Anyway, that's just another conversation for another time. This will be the worst episode. Also, we're we getting have. old. No, um, we're not getting old. But, we're not old. I, like, since you brought up Serena Williams, that is like. I used to be fucking, like, obsessed with her, like, her Lana, and her sister, Beyonce, like... say Serena, Venus. What are you trying to say? I mean, like, I'm proud that I have I'm a, a straight, straight man, man who can, that I love Who can women. idolize so many beautiful, talented women. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I kind of, like, Vanilla wasn't Queen keeping up... What? What did you say? I didn't hear you. I said, you smell so clean, bitch. Thank you. Um, but I, I never really, I haven't been keeping up with her career recently. And I, so I just like deep dived and watched like a bunch of documentaries and mini episodes and everything on her. And like, she is that bitch. Like she, like she is unironically one of the greatest athletes of all time. Like she's in the top five. Like I actually would say like what she did for tennis and like just sports in general is like on the same level as like, Kobe Bryant or LeBron James or like uh, like Dirk Nowitzki or something like someone who like completely that changed the game forever. What? Dirk Nowitzki? <laughs> He's a basketball player. Number 41. <laughs> oh, my my old old passwords um used to be oh Dirk Nowitzki 41. Wait, Dirk. Dirk D I R K. Oh, bitch, I thought you said D E R G N A, like the Dirk <laughs> No. Winsky. Dirk Nowinski. No, Dirk. D I R K. Uh, but I'm going to name my kids something so fucked up. I, that, I was thinking about that today. I was like, what am I going to name my fucking babe? Like kids. And like the first name. We get name on one baby comes, and we can't believe the it. The first name that comes into my brain every single time is like Bingus or like <laughs> fucking Dingo or some shit. Like I, I'm going to name my baby Hinga Dinga Durgan. No, literally, my baby's going to be named like fucking B. 
bingo or some shit like dingus i love the name dingus like oh it's giving like bingus energy you know like that like bingus is such a cute fucking name to me get, or like you know bug I think or you turtle could, i think you could get away with like giving your kid a fucked up middle name and calling them that and then they're like first name being good like, imagine I feel like your everybody... kid's name being bug that's so fucking bug cute. is f- fucked up no that's like a cute name like oh look at little bug Hello, little guy. That's cute when they're like crawling around, but then when they're like 15, you're like, bug, bug. <laughs> yeah, that's true. crazy. My but parents that's... didn't think about my name like that. Actually, they did. I don't know how my parents thought about my name because like Enya, I feel like is a good adult name, but like a baby name, Enya, Enya. That's really cute. Maybe that is cute. That's really yeah, cute. That is cute. I'm going to name my, like, that's like a cute toddler yeah, I just name, have, like, but the best calling name ever. a toddler Drew, like Drew. Like no, that just Drew it, or like Drew Phillips, Andrew, like ugh, Andrew. I can't. I, can't. I want to fish. Did so you bad. ever got, get called Andrew? Um, like on the first day of school, and then I would like correct them. I'd be like, my name is not fucking Andrew. I do not res- resonate with that name. Call me Drew. Call me Drew. Yeah, I um, I I went by my middle name sometimes, and then my family had nicknames for me, but it was always just Enya, and nobody gave me like cool nicknames until y'all gave me Ernie. Ernie. But yeah, I, that's my thing. Okay, everybody who named their kids some weird fucking thing in the past like four or five years, you could have just made that the middle name, or maybe because they're all the famous babies, those are the middle names and just the names they're letting us know. Do you do you get me? Which that would be an awesome discovery to know like people who are like yeah i named my fucking baby like 007 to find out later on that that's that was just their like public name that's what Does i that that, I've said that before on the podcast really talking about elon musk's baby's name oh like, like you think that's I just think like the public name that they decided to like I let th- people know yeah i think it was like a publicity stunt i think they wanted to hide the identity of their child and i think it was it was a mixture of many things but their name is not aex210 or whatever the fuck it is I mean, like you never i know. don't think so i don't think they're that fucking crazy but i'm going to name my baby covid19 bitch <laughs> i'm going to name my baby monkeypox <laughs> oh i'm going to have monkey. twins and name it monkeypox and covid19 monkey that's actually so cute <laughs> wait co- i'm going to name my baby covid yet okay oh, this yeah this, I get into we it. have to talk about this oh my god my jewel is stuck in my shoe and i literally cannot get it out <laughs> i need to clarify that when i say this i do not stand by these ideas i think you all know better you know where my moral grounding lies for the most part because you don't know me and you don't know what i've been up to and you don't know what i've been through but for the most part all of y'all know where we stand don't be silly but we have come to the conclusion that the like right wing freaks who name the crazy conspiracy theories and make all these like nicknames like covidiot plandemic need they to need be to naming be, crayons like, yeah they need to- <laughs> like they 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 like turn that shit out like yeah. pandemic is one of the funniest things i've ever heard in my entire life like unironically i think like, it's one of the I, most genius things i've ever heard i wish i heard the first person to like hear it because it or had posted to have been, on fucking twitter or yeah Facebook. it had to have been in casual conversation that they were so fucking heated that like pandemic came out yeah like it's it's it really is one uh, like a great fucking name. Now, Covidiot. Covidiot, Covidiot is good. Covidiot slays. Covidiot. You fucking Covidiot. Libtard slays. Libtard. That we were naming a bunch the other day and I can't like think of all of them. Yeah. But like, but they, they, we, I think what we settled on was like, it's because everybody, I genuinely believe this, has like a creative side to him. You na- may not feel it or you may not like know how to access it, but everybody is like, can be a very creative person everybody can have a hobby exactly and i think (laughs) the problem with conservatives is that they don't have a creative outlet but when they do turn up and turn out their creative brains they put it in they put that energy into naming fucking uh the liberal (laughs) agenda um which is that's i think that's what it ended up being that's why i've like said i don't know if i've said this on the podcast but i think like if schools implemented classes that force you to choose a hobby and i don't mean like randomly giving people art or music or like pe and those things because like when you make those kind of things mandatory and you don't let a child or person choose the thing that they're going to spend their free time on it's rare something like good grows from that 
I have to okay? resituate. My fucking bony ass hurts so bad on these rocks. I need to sit. On yeah, the, I just uh, have a plush like butt, so like I'm comfortable personally. Yeah, but can I? No. no. Can you? Oh, uh, when we check for ticks later, can I spread my hole and you can take a look in? Yeah, only if you like take a look at my scrotum. Yeah. My ball set. Also, I haven't lifted your balls f- to like alleviate the you weight. You don't want to go down there right now. Oh. You really don't. When's want the last to. time you showered? In like 14 days or oh. something. But it's it's okay because we're out in nature. That is not. That's like. That's not true. I will say though, I thought about this today because like. You all know I don't like laying on a bed that I'm sleeping in with my outside clothes on. But I got back today and I did that. And I thought about it. You faced your fears. But I felt better about it because I was like, wait, let's be real. When I'm in L.A. and I'm like sitting on public furniture and like I'm in cities. I'm in Miami. I'm like outside. Also, Miami's just humid and gross. So like you come Ball on. Ball sweat you, everywhere. You smell, and there's no place you smell more like outside when you come inside than Miami. There's no place. Do you get me? Like, um, I that think heat and humidity, like and Texas like then has the rain, like the same vibe. I'm serious. You want Texas to beat Miami so bad, but I don't. Bad. You want Miami to beat Texas so bad. I didn't even bring we Texas up. We don't have up. to pit like, the girls. Like, well, you just said you mm-hmm. get me, and I was like, well, I Guys, don't have well, that. I what's don't better, have Miami experience. or Texas? Like, be honest. <laughs> Neither. We'll throw a poll that's going to come on the side. Both suck balls. Um, What's better, Florida or Texas? Come on, guys. They um, lie around the same place on the equator. I know. They they also both suck equivalently. Um, they, they're both great and they suck for the same reasons. I think like very similar reasons is why those places are awesome. <laughs> we're not and- naming it, but we, I think you are <laughs> you getting understand. it. You're picking up what we're putting down. Um, Come back. Come, where'd you go? Come back. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. But then I went and I laid inside and I was like, dude, it's a cool day. I'm in nature. Nothing that's on me. I was just like, it's I don't have COVID dirty. on me. I can lay down. Yeah. <laughs> nothing Nothing out here is ever that dirty. Like, I actually, like, don't think, like, dirt from the forest floor, like, around us is dirty. No, I, I don't I either. Don't, when I dropped no my chocolate and it. I ate it, I was like, and I left it there for a minute because I thought about it. I dropped and I was like... Am I going to eat that? Yeah. And then now, I picked it up and I ate it. Me squatting or sitting on the sidewalk in New York City is a completely oh, different story. Bitch. That's shit, piss, like grime and shit, germs. Shit, piss, caca, poo poo, sperm. Yeah, exactly. That is a fucked up word. <laughs> sperm. Um, um, are you about to grab that chocolate? Yeah. Dude, I was going to make comment on it on the other one because the other one being shaped, like we have a chocolate. That's chocolate, tr- chocolatey tree stump, and this Cookies. is freaking me out because when we put it down right behind us, I was like, "This is the most like unnatural thing ever." The bees are coming. Imagine, imagine what would you do? Isn't there a scary movie about bees? Or am I tripping? I don't know. I know there's one about leeches. Um, but I was like, dude, humans are so funny because why did we like make chocolates? And then we're like, you know what we should do is like make chocolates that look like little tree stumps and eat them. Because it's cute and fun. Like humans do that all the time. Like we like simulate like real things into like, oh, these don't look nearly as good as they do on the package. (laughs) They look like shit. Are they yummy though? I've been saying yummy and yummers a lot recently. Like, oh, these are yummers. Um, Yeah, I feel like we both can feel this. Um... It's kind of left my body since being out here, though. But, like, I have been so, like, tired and sad and, like, fed up and, like, not feeling good recently. I hate it so much. I have no reason to feel this way, but I do. And it's just that fucking depression never fucking leaves. I know. I feel that. But I feel like I get that in the summertime and then fall time. I feel, like, really, like, at peace. But there's, like, a, a trinkle... There's, like, the lightest layer of sadness, but it makes it feel good. Like, the weather. Yeah. Like, I know by the time we get back to L.A., it's going to be the best weather. Um, Which is just, like, kind of overcast, chilly, and then still on, like, sunny days, it's going to be chilly. Even though there's a crazy heat wave happening right now. So I'm talking as if, like, literally on Monday, it's going to be 103 degrees, and on Tuesday, it's going to be 101. 
Damn. And I think today it's 100 degrees. Damn. Um, But I know what you're feeling. But I think you might be feeling that because, like, being in New York was, like, a draining thing for you because you're just so not accustomed to being socially, like, Dude, I think what moving it is, like that. It's, it's a part of that. I just, like, am socially, like, completely drained. And I, I try to be able to rejuvenate. But, like everybody's on top of each other and always doing something so I couldn't like really escape but I think the real thing is is I've just been on iPhone in a different capacity I've been like looking at things and like like really letting like the uh the world ending shit get to my head and like actually starting to believe it again and like there's all this crazy shit because when I say like the world's gonna end in two to three years like I don't actually believe that it's always a joke but now like with everything going on in the world, like the the droughts and all the flooding and everything, I'm just like, dude, it actually is ending and we're done. Okay, so this is something that I've noticed. Um, and it's like with literally everywhere I go, um, no matter the state, no matter the country, no matter the city, why when I enter a solo stall bathroom, like, like a gender neutral bathroom, there is a mirror in the perfect position so I can see my penis, period, that's it. Really? Every every bathroom I've ever been into, the mirror is like the perfect angle or like the perfect length where you can just watch your penis as it pees. In like the the single stalls, like in the handicap stalls no, where no, there's a mirror? No, I mean like a gender neutral bathroom, one oh, toilet in the I middle know what of the you're bathroom. talking about. Dude, I hate that. I hate when I go into a bathroom and that is there. It's not. In, I know what you're talking about. It's not in every bathroom, but always at some point you count. You like see it, or like you go into a bathroom and it's there, and it's like, why? Like, what was the thought process between like making me watch myself piss? Like, yeah. Why are you making me? Why are you subjecting me to this? And it's then it's like, l- look at your penis and be ashamed. <laughs> oh, you're shameful of yourself. It's just so big down there. It's just like really hard to actually. Dude, exist. You shouldn't be shameful of that though. That's a that's a beautiful thing. It's just like really, really Have hard. Have people bullied you for that? It's really hard. Sure, that's beautiful and you should so be so proud. Hard. Um, well, ever since I was like seven and I saw this thing that in Miami there were a bunch of people going through and putting secret cameras in bathrooms. I, since that day, have never entered a public restroom, but not like it, di- it it's different. Like in those single use, like gender neutral bathrooms or just like single use bathrooms where it's like at a restaurant there's a boy and a girl room or the gender neutral ones those kind of bathrooms I'm always looking around I'm always like if there's like an air freshener machine like kind of pointed directly at the toilet and it looks like it has not been changed for like ever or it looks too new I'm like wh- which means every single time I see one I'm like, that is a camera and that is not real. <laughs> like, that is fully a camera. Somebody's watching me pee. And then I feel like I'm putting on a performance while I pee. Well, there's a camera right over there recording us on that tree. No, I'm actually being serious. It's a game camera. There Wait, are cameras where? literally everywhere over there on that tree. Which one? The... I can't. I really can't see it for some reason. Yeah, it's a game yeah. camera. It's attached to the sign. Why can't I see it? It's like blended it's in so well for me. To be hidden. Um, I guess I also don't know what cameras on trees would look like. Yeah, I'm trying to find like a big um, what's a DSLR. It called? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the David Dobrik camera that's strapped <laughs> up to a tree with the gorilla grip tripod. <laughs> the yeah. Okay, why are DSLRs still that big? They don't. I, I think it's at this point like. Uh, when I was looking for a camera when I wanted one, I wanted the biggest camera possible. I thought, like, the bigger it was, the better it was, the more powerful it was. And I think that is still a lot of people's thoughts on them. And I think they're just keeping them that big. Because there's no way the internals of a camera need to be that fucking massive. Like, yeah. this camera is better than the camera that we are recording on, my vlog camera. And it's fucking tiny. Yeah, it's, like, three times as small. Not you having a smaller camera. I have to, like, compensate in some ways. Oh, because of your, like, gigantic wiener? There are so many bugs, and I know I'm going to get bit by mosquitoes in a crazy way. Um, Oh, also, before I move on, the air freshener thing in the bathroom. And if I'm in the bathroom and then it squeezes, like, it shoots out air freshener while I'm in there, I'm like, oh, what a coincidence that that's Mm -hmm. shooting out while I'm peeing. No, bitch. That's the record button. 
and 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 it, what it's doing is it's it's covering the sound of the You're shutter a on the camera. Psycho. And now somebody has a video of me peeing. But then I like I get comfort, but I'm that. Oh my god, they're so cute. Um, but I get comfort from the idea that like it's one person who has that picture, and I'm like, what are the chances they share it? No, that's my vibe. It's like if my nudes leak, I'm kind of just like relief. Like it was, it's like you my brother dying. Like again. I just oh. like get relief. Did you just compare your nudes leaking to your brother dying? Yeah. <laughs> It's on the same level. It's like <laughs> yeah, no, same I, I level feel that. I feel that. Scarce. Um, but my wiki feeds dropped. Someone made a wiki feeds for me and uploaded a bunch of wiki feet pics. Um, Do you have a high score or a low score? Uh, last time I checked, I had seven one stars and three or two. No, one, literally one one or five star. So I had like a terrible <laughs> rating. Like I had a half of a star rating, um, which is fucked up. But they they purposely uploaded my gross feet pics. I just have gross fucking feet. Like my feet are disgusting. Like I I am so embarrassed by them, and that's why I make jokes out of them so much. Is so <laughs> y'all can't say that to me. But I know I have gross feet, so I make them. When we even were getting more like uh, pedicures, and I went to make a comment, and you will you go no. Like absolutely not. Like no one else is allowed to make fun of my feet. <laughs> Dude, that's when we like were getting one. our pedicures, I almost kicked the shit out of the person doing my feet. Like it was so bad. They like, have to, yeah, they have to upgrade the the like the one. I don't need you to like shave my feet like fucking cheddar cheese. Like I don't need that because personally, I have soft, voluptuous, sexy feet. Let's be real. Let's just. So be I don't. Know, I don't need you to cheese Let's grate my feet. But like, can they upgrade that so that it's not like the most Dude, ticklish thing on the fucking planet? Like, that, when do humans get the iOS update that that doesn't tickle? So that much? and like all the fucking shavings. Where do they go? Because I will eat that later, and I hope they aren't eating my fucking skin because I want to be eating it. Because or like at least like like give it to me. You know, like I just like I want that to eat later. Like I give me the no, option. No, no, I don't. They are not eating your feet shavings they are they like that is not the protocol like well someone is because if i'm not doing it someone has to be doing it no they just throw it away that's what everybody does nobody's eating their foot shavings wait like i know I, i'm literally just joking but like the skin around my fingers tastes so fucking good and i know my foot skin tastes good like i just know it i have had my foot skin before it's gotten that bad when i was a kid well i have my anxiety when i was a kid toe. i would bite my big toe yeah i have my anxiety toe it's back because the right. world is ending that's my confession don't shame me oh and my other confession is yeah it's true i don't wash my hydro flask <laughs> oh yeah literally she doesn't <laughs> sorry i like started choking on chocolate <laughs> she doesn't and there's black mold COVID-19 was created in that fucking hydro flask because you don't wash it all yeah. you bitches that don't wash your hydro flask that's where you're it came the from you're and that's why reason. you have tonsil rocks bitch <laughs> Girl, I don't know why you're talking to them you're the one in question um, I don't use hydro flasks anymore because I had the bad habit of like not washing them wait but what's the water bottle I use at home I use something at home hmm? do I have a hydro flask at home yeah oh yeah, I and it sits it. in the sink. You you put coffee in it, and then it sits in the bottom of the sink because you don't want to wash it. So it sits there, and then I wash it, and it still sits there, and then you use it, and like two weeks later, and the cycle literally repeats itself. But I wash your Hydro Flask for you, like the green one that you put coffee in, because I'm like, she does not need to I be haven't drinking been using that one as much, but um, I don't have curdled rotten milk. Like gray matter, bitch. You're eating. You're drinking literal brain gray matter. <laughs> I okay. I don't use them for anything but water now. But I do not take back what I said. I do not wash hydro, wash hydro flasks. Like I would like to believe that whatever material is being used, like will deteriorate my bacteria and like honestly my my bacteria like can't be that bad it's like y'all drink kombucha like you don't know where that bacteria was being fermented like why can't i have my own backwash fermented kombucha like it's me i had that idea the other day like something similar to that where, where i was like dude my germs can't be that bad so i don't care you know what i mean like yeah, my germs like, are not my, that bad. like it came out of me like unless it's like like literally my fecal matter like that's coming out with like purpose but i'm like my spit my spit is in my mouth to like i don't know every time i swim in a head. natural pond lake creek is that why I can't um, spit? river i am convinced i'm gonna get a brain eating amoeba like i jumped into that water yesterday <clears throat> insert clip <laughs> I 
boom. And my ears got <laughs> filled with water and I was like, oh, it's done. Like I'm done. Like I, the, the germs are in my ears and they're going to make their way to my brain. And like within a week, I'll probably be dead. Oh my God, Drew. Oh, I wish there was so much. I do too. It's okay. I do too. <laughs> what? That's the thing about us is we have similar like wishes and wants. Like I want you to pass away. You want to pass away. I want to live a life without you. You don't want to live. So then that just kind of like. Oh. <laughs> is that how you're crying? Oh. What, what if I cried like that? Have you seen no. me cry? You've seen me cry. Yeah, I've seen you cry. Not like as often as you've seen me cry. Yeah. Um, because boys aren't allowed to cry. Yeah. So I give you like three passes a year. Yeah. And then the year of your brother's celebration. <laughs> celebration i gave you one pass yeah because i believe in moving on i'm kidding that's <laughs> fucked up <laughs> get over it literally my dad when i'm explaining to him why i'm when sad when did i cry to you um not you didn't necessarily cry to me but it would be like you know like the occasional like like tearing up and like talk trying to talk about it like that you would like maybe like cry yeah and then like during it you cried um but you didn't necessarily cry next to me remember when we had to sit separately Mm -mm. we don't have to leave this in but remember when we were at the funeral when we got separated and i sat all the way at the end dude i felt so so i basically was just like alone and Mm. i was like oh this is weird next to my other family members comforting them dude i felt so uncomfortable by that not like anything you did i was like but in my head like i'm not kidding like half of the funeral i was just like D- i think i should go sit by Inya, or like i should like no, we should go somewhere i, I no. was so fine no i, I know yeah, you were know, fine but yeah. it was just like so much it, like literally it was so filled in my head i was like i have to go over there like i feel bad she's all alone and i don't want like my like family members being like why is she over there and like getting upset with you for being there or something i I just like spiraled out of control but it distracted me for most of it which was actually really good but damn my that presence was... distracted you yeah you fucking hate me I no so like much. in a good way no, I, was kidding, I, was kidding. I know bae i know bae but yeah like i so i've seen you cry definitely but you de- i mean obviously you've seen me cry tell me why me. i still had stage fright and i thought everybody was looking at me when i went on stage for my brother's funeral i was like damn like i gotta serve well, like to i be gotta fair, look fucking good everyone is looking at you but They're i mean sitting like in chairs and like, like looking at me like perceiving oh like you me. were like, like you thought people were like oh he looks like shit right yeah now. exactly no, but i was, i showed out yeah that was you ate <laughs> bitch i ate down i ate down at my brother's funeral like that's the thing about me I, I'm gonna dress. The thing about me is I looked like oh, shit don't. at my mom's funeral. <laughs> and the thing about me, no, here's the true thing about me is, yes, an espresso machine was bought to her, brought to her funeral. Yes, I made multiple lattes at her funeral. And what about it? You're literally a psycho. Literally, what about it? Yes, I had a beer at my mom's funeral. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I was underage drinking at my mom's funeral. Now what? Uh... FBI, police, what are you gonna do? Arrest me. I was grieving. I'm actually going to call the cops because that's like really fucked no, up. No, please. It hasn't been 10 years. No, if know. you drink underage, like I'm like you're done. Like you're no, over. But like, I was like, OK, fine. I'm going to blame it on my parents. It's my parents fault. It not it literally being one of my parents fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, Drew see me cry like an incomprehensible. I just cry so like easily. once a week. Yeah, I cry like so easily. I cry very often. I cry all the time. Um, and then every now and then I get a good panic attack sobbing and then I'm so embarrassed. I've never once been like, oh, she's crying. Like, I've never once. You know I've what always- it is? It's not necessarily the embarrassment. It's like, I don't know how to describe I think it's like, I feel bad because I feel like there's like obviously this problem that the people around me, like I know you and like anybody else who's ever around me wants to be able to like. Specifically when I'm having a panic attack, oh, dude, which that's, I need to I get this out of my up. head uh, because yeah. like that only ever makes it worse. But when I'm like having a panic attack and the people around around me are trying to help, I start to feel like guilty. Almost. Yeah, gu- mm-hmm. my and then my guilt makes it worse because I'm like, I need to stop. I need to stop. And then I'm like, you literally oh should never feel oh, guilty. Yeah, for I can't stop. Guy- what I have trouble with is like I don't know how to comfort people when they are in that state. I mean, I try to, like, I do my best and I try to make people laugh and just, like, get their mind off of it. But, like, 
like physically comforting people like that's all i was thinking about it was just like do i like pat her on the shoulder like what the fuck do i do right now <laughs> like when i'm crying and you're around me like you're like very physical and it's very comforting i'm like is that what she wants i don't know just very very curious um i just don't know how to comfort people when they're in that state I, yeah, I was talking about that to somebody and I was like, I don't know what I need in those moments. Like, I really just don't know what I need. What I need is to disappear and not be <laughs> What existent. you need is Instagram. Yeah, what I need is to open up TikTok and watch TikTok. You need TikTok just a lot. And disassociate from the fact that I'm alive. And then I'm like, oh my God, wait, what was I crying about? This song is so good. <laughs> um, that's like, no, that's actually the last thing. I, the, <laughs> the last thing last I need is the you good had. music, like... Being ambient tainted. play music playing and then i'm like i oh yeah like my i'm not being dramatic right now my life Dude, is about to end the last cry you had you were listening or the music that was on in the car was the most anxiety inducing music i've ever heard in my entire life like if i was in your state and i was hearing that music i would have been like actually freaking the no fuck it, out. it did exponentiate and i it. was almost like hey can you turn off the radio um, <laughs> but like it, I just like didn't want to make anybody mad but literally I had that same thought yeah no it, it definitely did like exponentiate it because it was like there's a critter up there I know it was like shoegazy like ambient but then like screamo scream like it was a crazy thing to Death be listening metal. to but there was one song that I wish I like I wanted to ask what it is was because it within my panic attacks I could still be like wow <laughs> I know in a year I'll miss this moment because I'm fucking crazy. You are a psycho. I am crazy. Like, I genuinely, like, You're it taking is... taking after crying selfies every single time you cry. I gotta, I gotta get it down. You know what? Because no one looks as good as I do after, after they, like, cry like that. And I'm... See? That is a hill I will I've, die I've, on. I said that literally the last episode. I was like, you are, like, a gorgeous fucking crier. Like, I sound out of my mind in these episodes. Every single episode, it's like, yeah, during my big emotional break... Literally. I'm always because I'm growing, I'm changing, I'm ever evolving. Yeah. Well, the most angering, most frustrating thing I think um, that can happen to you, the most devastating thing is missing your exit when you're driving. That <laughs> sends me over the edge in a way that, like, I actually cannot describe. Like, I see red and I, like, freak the fuck out on myself. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me when I miss my edit? It's like, or exit. It's like, it's devastating. Any any wrongdoing while driving will send me over the edge. Yeah. Specifically that I'm doing. I don't care if someone else I'm with like misses the exit like at all. I'm like, girl, it's not that deep. But when I do it, I feel like the stupidest person ever. It's because I'm just so like tapped in, zoned in, focused on everything but driving. You know what I mean? Like you <laughs> that like is... no, 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 Wait. Like, like you like you forget that you're driving when you drive. Like you you just kind of do it mindlessly. Wait, so you're not cognitive when you're driving, Drew? I don't think anybody is. Like, I just kind of, like, it's like second nature. It's like breathing. Like, I don't realize yeah. I'm doing it. It just happens. No, I feel that. And but I'm I never miss exits and I'm, up. like, the best. Wait, what? Yeah, like, I'm also, like, super on, like, hella substances. Like, no, I, stop. Like, like, that's I was, so bad. Don't it was just say that. fucking LSD. No, like, don't admit to that, at least. Like, we, like you can keep, no, bad. you can keep doing it and, like, I don't care. But just, like, for the sake of our, like, image online, don't, like, post I about it. I popped a tab of LSD. <laughs> I took a fentanyl Roxy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, I am convinced that I'm the best driver ever. Like, and I'm not kidding. I genuinely think I am the best driver in at least the U.S. Oh and I stand God. by that. And like other people will be like, no, I am. I, no, I am genuinely the best driver. You could put me in any city, in any climate, and in any car. And I will drive that bitch safely. I was impressed when you were driving around New York. And I was like, damn, that's like pretty, pretty sick that you were able to do it. Cause, and then I was like, do I think I would be able to do that? No, like not at all. I would miss an exit and have a freak, it, freak out, meltdown, and punch a hole through the window. I've driven, I've driven in other countries. I've driven in Portugal very easily. So easy. I've driven in Mexico. So easy. I've driven in Hawaii, which is technically, I guess, a part. Of the U.S. Girl, I've driven so in your easy. mama's pussy vagina, and I drove deep. Oh, I'm glad you're driving around fucking dust roads, bitch. What are you, in the oh desert, my... in my mom's fucking urn? Spider webs are so awesome. Look at that spider web in the... I, I was looking at that one over there. Dude, yeah, that one's crazy, but look Which... at this one right here in that tree. I'm... In this, like, tiny tree. I don't see it. Wait. 
where? Oh, the critter. Ew, that's a bat. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I almost freaked. I almost ended the episode here. Um, I love bats. No, I'll sh- I'll show you the spider web I'm looking at. I actually might run over and go take a picture of it because it's like so pretty. Oh, at the bottom. Yeah. Should I yeah. go take? Wait, where's the sun? No, I still have some sun left. Yeah, you um, got spider sun. webs are so crazy because like, no, uh, I'm not gonna start thinking about it because I was like standing out here while you were inside. Like I came out here to like look around to see where we're gonna film, and I was standing right there, and I was like, "Damn, dude, I am like so incredibly insignificant," and like I sit here and I get like so like incredibly wrapped up and at peak I human love emotion. That um over like everything happening but you've been saying this whole episode but then i stand there and i'm like when i die this this like will keep going and that is so fucking awesome and it's, it's like so such comforting. a comforting feeling where it's just like dude it will go on there will be like there's already multiple bitches just like me i am like every other bitch and then like one day there will be some freak ass bitch around my age standing there looking out at the grass and having the same revelation and nothing I've thought is unique. Nothing I have felt is unique. Dude, yeah, that is like literally that used to freak me out, but I'm so at peace with it. I love, love, love. I've said it before, but the idea that like in like 200 years after my death, like I will not be remembered. I will not be thought about like no one will like literally ever like think of me and I don't know why but that feels just so like so sweet like my body will be recycled back to the earth um and I will be used for good and it's like really really nice I mean for me it literally like sorry I cut you off what were you what were you gonna finish saying um I was just saying it it feels really nice and like I, I like I think that like sounds like a scary thing to say or like it could be like misconstrued i know it, it can be misconstrued like, that we like literally both want to pass away but that like, that's not like yeah. i mean when i'm 87 years old or yeah, 112 I, years I, old at this point and i think we've both come to this conclusion we used to be like dude we're gonna die we're gonna die like at such a young age or whatever which is like an awful thing to think and like knock on wood true wood um can i knock on that wood on my penis. Sometimes when we're not around wood and I need to knock on wood, I just knock on Drew. I'll just get hard yeah. real quick. I'm just it's easy for dick. him. It's easy. Um, but ow, ow, I keep getting bit by mosquitoes and I'm allergic to you mosquito bites sweet now. sweet blood. Like, I know. They, they have love not me. touched me once. They haven't gotten me once. Those birds were just playing in that tree. Um, I forgot what I was Fuck saying. birds. Oh, I hope all but, birds But start. now I'm like, damn, like I genuinely am convinced that I'm going to. Oh, did you poop? I shit myself. <laughs> I fucking shit myself. And you help me. No, help me. and I'm not wiping. Help me, I I'm shit a- myself. <laughs> Ew, stop. Um, now I'm convinced that I'm going to live like a very long life and I'm going to be like one of those annoying people who, yes, I will look at everybody I knew. One, here's four things or like a few things I've been thinking about recently. Yes, I will be the old person who drives around with young people and I'm like this used to be here and that used to be like that I remember when I was your age I do that now yeah I still do that and I will always do that when I'm old I'm gonna do it like at an inconceivable amount um I think that's my new word like incomprehensible um but that I will see every young person I will say to them I remember when you were this small um I will be doing that that. I I see little like humans now and i'm like i will be telling that motherfucker that i saw them this small because this is it's a pride thing yeah this is actually insane like i know you better than you know yourself yeah like i've been around you bitch oh i've been around you um i will say that i missed the old days even though right now i'm like this is the worst the earth has ever been i'm sure in 50 years when like everything is melted and we have to live in like 300 feet um foot buildings so that we're not like skyscrapers in the desert yeah so that we're not drowning i'll be like oh i miss the old days where you could drive around in like a cool car and now you bitches are floating that's so annoying um and I'll be like, damn, I miss when, like, CDs were a thing. Because I already feel like that. Um, but, yeah, I will be an old I don't need, person. What, what, and I what are you li- even saying right oh, now? Oh, I was just saying I'm going to live so long. Like, oh, we used yeah. to, We used to be like, oh, we're not going to live. We used to be like, I'm going to be dead by 30. And, like, all this, like, fucked up shit that I think, like, a lot of young people think. Because, like, for some reason at the age of, like, 15 30 sounds like literally the oldest age like on the planet i'm so i'm so excited to be 100 years old yeah Um, i don't want to live to 100 i i just don't want to be at the point where someone's like having to take care of me like but i just i say you can't eat the most processed food on this planet (laughs) like i will even have an ass 
I know you can't plan for your health, but I am manifesting that I will live in good health and I'll be okay and things will work out for me because I am done thinking the worst. Um, I'm done. I'm so done. I'm just... Yeah. I'm a different woman, and I'm so excited. I am so excited to go back to LA and play with my CD player. Like that's mm-hmm. at the point I'm at in my life. Oh, but also when we were like, oh, it makes me feel so good to know that in 200 years, no one will think about me. For me, that helps my like cave woman brain of where when I'm just like every time I'm on the podcast and I'm like, no, I'm just on my caveman shit, and like I don't think and I don't care. That's something that like has kind of led to that ideology where I'm just like literally. In fucking 13 BC, bitches weren't like, oh my God, what's going to happen tomorrow? They were like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. I, I'm sure in 13 BC, they had an idea, an inkling of what was happening. Mm-hmm. But I I also have no gauge of time. Like to me, I can't believe like, were there cars in like the 1800s? No, I don't think so. They had like carriages. When did they have cars? In the 1900s? Mm-hmm. Like 1903, did they have cars? Yeah, I think so. We'll look that up. When did they make tanks? Because why? Like probably in the 70s or some shit. Damn. Oh, my God. Everything is so new still. It's scary. No, that's the thing. It's like we're saying like we're going to be living in skyscrapers in 70 the years. Middle. But yeah, that's but not the case. We're going to be living the exact same we are now. Which is honestly pretty awesome. First I don't want things to change anymore. Was this fucking dinky mobile? <laughs> um, oh, it was a Benz. Nineteen eighty-six. Not them having the Benz in nineteen. 19- Girl, the first fucking wait, wait, car. Uh, eighteen eighty-six. But that's not okay. a car. That's not a car. That's a bicycle. Yeah, like you're lying to yourself. Damn, they the first car was invented in nineteen ninety-six. No, Drew, you were literally born two years later. The car... The... That's what I'm saying. That's fucking crazy. No, I don't... I think you're, like... You're misreading something because there's no way. No, yeah, that's really interesting, actually. No, I, also, now you're spreading misinformation. So, that's what you get to learn from today's podcast. Me and Elsie watched um, a sped-up recreation CGI thing of Pompeii, and I didn't know what Pompeii was. Pompeii? Or wait, Popeye or Pompeii? Pompeii, same thing. Damn. Same thing. Damn. Yeah. You know there's what's crazy this one you meme. Knew what I was saying. Yeah, I knew what you were saying. Exactly. But so they like... definitely could not infer that because you said <laughs> I watched a speed up recreation of Popeye. <laughs> um, but the one of the best memes of all time is um, the, if they had selfie sticks in Pompeii, <laughs> and it's right here. Um, that is literally one of the greatest. <laughs> I didn't know what Pompeii was. Like, I'm being so real. See, that's the thing about me is like, because of how emotionally intellectual I am, people let me get away with being probably one of the dumbest humans on the planet. Like, I don't know how I got here. And it is because God gave me good, like, gut intuition and like emotional capacity. But on all other playing fields, I am dumb. So expect very low grade intelligence from me. Yeah, it's it's academically honestly, specifically really really hard to exist. <laughs> if Pompeii happened today, is that a statue? Yeah. Okay, because I was gonna say she's like she's sexy. Serving. I don't even think we can put that on the screen. We'll blur we'll it. We'll blur it. Um, but the critters are out. Yeah, it's getting to that time. I need you to take a picture of me. I need you to take a picture of me. You came out and you were like, I'm going to get a sexy photo of you. And you took one yesterday. Well, and probably I probably look ugly. More. Come on. We'll, I'll take more. Um, this is our last moment to ever be here because we probably won't make it. That's what I'm thinking. Me and Drew need to stop saying that to each other. We like literally. Also, we need to stop saying it because I believe it. Like, Well, the only reason that legitimately the only reason I believe it is because I burnt my fucking finger last night. And it's probably <laughs> going to get infected and fall off. And I probably won't make it. Drew got gangrene. frustrated with me because we were f- burning weenies over the fire on this like metal prong thing. And he was like, hold my buns down so my, my hot dogs come off. And then like I wasn't doing it at the speed and capacity that he needed. And he was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And like went to go push it down and his thumb pressed on the hot iron. And that's what you get for not letting me do what I needed to do. So in a way, it was deserved. Yeah, so, so I burned my finger, <laughs> um, and it hurts really bad, um, and it hurt really bad. It's okay, because I plopped it in my hole, and the juices, like, kind of fixed it. No, what fixed it is 
I poured mustard all over it. Unironically, I know this sounds like some stupid shit that I always say, but I poured mustard mustard all over it. <laughs> mustard. On, mustard. Dude, my like slurring and mispronunciation mispronuncia- <laughs> of words and like shit, like I actually think I'm like getting stupider. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but it's driving me insane. Let's do that I can't screen time say and then words. we can tell you. No. Um, I can't, I can't say words anymore. Um, and I can't finish thoughts. Um, but I poured mustard all over the burn and it actually like stopped the pain immediately. And I think it made it a lot better than it actually would be. I wonder what's in, oh yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. Yeah. I wonder what's in mustard, mustoid. Mustoid. Um, but yeah, I burned Drew on purpose. Yeah, she got one of the hot dog metal sticks and stabbed (laughs) me with it and it fucking hurt and made me cry my little eyes out. Um, but yeah, should we tap into some media? Yes, I'm gonna go take a photo of this web before the sun gets too low. Um, and we'll insert it if it looks good. And if it looks bad, you won't see the photo. You start your media though. Ew, my saggy bottoms. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Is that a motorcycle? Yep. I thought it was like me. Um, okay. So I got three songs for you. We got Bull of the Woods, Rain in the Alders, and Forest Park by FM Forest. Beautiful, beautiful songs. Um, Really uh, cure me when I'm sad. Actually, they probably just make me even more sad. uh, And hurt my feelings even more. Because I'm someone who's so fucking affected by music that, like, I actually, like... If a sad song comes on, it will make me so sad. Like, I can't listen to sad music if I'm happy because it will ruin my mood. And if I listen to sad music when I'm sad, it'll put me deeper into a pit. And, like, I know some people are like, no, I like that because, like, people can relate to my feelings. No, I don't need to be even more sad than I already am. I need to be surface level sad so I can wake up in the morning and scroll through TikTok for two hours and forget about it. Can't be even more sad than I already am. Um... And then, what have I been watching? I haven't really been watching anything lately. Like, it's kind of just been me on my iPad watching my YouTube videos. I've been watching so many cooking shows, which is crazy. I don't even fucking cook. But I've been watching, like, shows, like, cooking competition shows, like Iron Chef Legends and shit like that. And, like, it's been really, really fun, actually. It's been really, really sweet. Um, And I've also been listening to a lot of AG Cook. I love... This album, wait, what's it called? I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know the name of the album off the top of my head. Apple versus 7G. Um, crazy, crazy album. And Inya is taking a picture of me right now. Um, and I hope it comes out good, but I bet she doesn't have the exposure or light settings right on it because she doesn't use a light meter. Um, I trust my gut. You do have good gut intuition, but But that's my media um, for this week. Okay, let's see what my media is. I haven't been watching anything either. Also, this little patch is awesome. Also, the sun. I knew it. The sun went down too much, so it wasn't, like, shining on it the way it was earlier, so it wasn't as nice. But, like, you know, that's okay, because at least I got to see it with my eyeballs. Should we try to see Dev in Sydney tomorrow? Sure. Before you leave? Yeah. Someone else wanted to see you. Oh, nah. You're popular. I got bitches. That's a, a two. She in a group chat with you and me was like, let's hang. Let, I want to hang out with him before he goes. And I was like, he's right here. <laughs> no. I haven't been watching anything. But. Last Date by Jill Trithal, and also Wichita Lineman by Jill Trithal. Mm. It's like um, synth versions of songs. <laughs> I'm about to let you know. I think I already said this. Let You Know by DJ Rashad. Um, dismiss. Maybe I said this on Patreon, but I'll say it here because Patreon has had it for a week or something extra, but Good Humor by Saint Etienne. Yeah. Um, 
And that's it for me. That's all. Um, also, like, Sade, any Sade song. You've been listening to so much Sade. Yeah, I love her. So good. It's insane. It's so good. Timeless music. Dude, it's, I it's hard to know to if you're going to make timeless music. Yeah, I don't want to listen to music out here because I'm just like... Well, I just haven't been able to because my good headphones are at the house and my now you're a bit Bose spoiled. are really fucking good when they have batteries, but I don't have batteries, so the sound quality sucks balls, um, so I haven't been able to. But I would have loved to sit out here as the sun was setting listening to my ambient music on full blast. I mean, but let's... also I just like haven't been really listening to music much lately um, because I just have been in weird moods. Yeah, I feel that. I haven't been listening to much, but when I do, that's what. I was listening to that Amplified Heart album so much since I bought the CD. I think that's why I've been having listening to everything but the girl in Sade, because now that I have a really good CD player, I'm like, oh, fuck, I need to buy, like, all of my, like, classic CDs. Like, I would buy, like, CDs of, like, like oh, cutty things that I really liked, but I'm like, oh, I need to also, like, amp up the side of it that's just, like, all these albums that I, like, love. Um, yeah. That I usually like just pass over when I'm at the store because I'm like, whatever, like I I have that on my iPhone, but like that's not the way to do it because like Drew said, you want to own your music, which sounds like me just being like, buy things, buy things, buy things, but you could get things for cheap and then you could own them. And it's like, this is my thing that I have and I'm not giving my money to somebody. Although Plus, like those things are very viable. I fucking $150 a year on Spotify. Plus, put that into Discogs, CDs that are two to five maybe ten dollars max and i own basically the same amount of music i would have listened to on spotify if not more um but i will say like things like spotify are so viable because it is insane that like i'm also picking a wedgie like crazy it is insane that you get to have like th- your having accessibility to that amount of music is like so unbelievable trust sometimes me no, it can be i know i love spotify plus like unironically how would i be able to listen to my podcast like i'm not buying a fucking cd of podcasts or i'm mm-hmm. not subscribing i, I don't know like I, that's the only place i listen to my podcast yeah 100 um, percent. but okay thank that you was guys so much for tapping in sorry if we were a little dimmer recently yeah we have some shit going on actually we have nothing going on i don't know why i'm fucking sad but that's why the episodes have been fucking shitty is because I want to die. Oh, my Bye. God. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to go die in the woods. He can only run so fast when he doesn't have real shoes on. Are you farting? Is that your shoes? Actually, is that your ass or shoes? Holy crap. Bye.